In 2006, Nick Marx, the founder of New Economics Foundation, formulated an index called the Happy Planet Index. Happy Planet Index, also referred to here as HPI, measures the progress of nations based on two important attributes. One, the quality of life of its citizens. Two, the efficient use of our planet's natural resources. HPI is a measure of sustainable well-being. Historically, quality of life has been measured based on material progress of nations, typically the gross domestic product, GDP. However, the GDP of a country does not accurately reflect the quality of life of its individuals. It does not, for example, take into account the inequality in wealth distribution. Indicators of economic progress of a nation are not necessarily the indicators of happiness and life satisfaction of its individuals. Moreover, GDP does not reflect things that matter, for example, social relations, health, or how people spend their free time, according to Nick Marx. HPI captures how people feel in their lives. Happiness is generally achieved from a range of factors. These include income level, health, relationships, social connections, meaning and purpose, to name a few. According to National Accounts of Subjective Wellbeing, beyond money, people seek happiness, meaning, engagement, and satisfaction. These are influenced by many other factors besides material wealth. These factors are called subjective measures of well-being. In order to build societies in which well-being is widespread, we must measure it directly rather than relying solely on economic indicators as a major proxy. According to Nick Marx, there is a growing evidence that subjective well-being accurately predicts a range of outcomes. This is an invitation to economic and social policy makers to account for the subjective well-being while measuring people's overall well-being. How does HPI measure happiness? HPI measures happiness of nations based on four components. Number one, well-being. How satisfied the residents of each country feel on a scale from zero to 10, based on data collected as part of the Gallup World Poll. Number two, life expectancy. The average number of years a person is expected to live in a country, based on data collected by the United Nations. Number three, Inequality of outcomes. The inequalities between people in a country in terms of how long they live and how happy they feel. It's based on the distribution in each country's life expectancy and well-being data. Number four, ecological footprint. The average impact that each resident of a country places on the environment based on data prepared by the Global Footprint Network. In short, HPI measures people's ability to live good lives within environmental limits. Therefore, the formula for HPI of a country is well-being multiplied by life expectancy multiplied by inequality of outcomes divided by ecological footprint. How do countries look on the HPI map? This croplet map reflects the ratings of countries based on HPI 2016. The countries shaded in green are on the higher end of HPI. The ones in pink are on the lower end. The ones in pale color are somewhere in the middle. The darker the shade, the closer the country is to the edge. The map provides some interesting insights. Costa Rica and Central America leads the world on HPI. Although the world looks up to Western countries as the forerunners of economic success, it's the Latin American and Asian regions that deliver high on HPI. Wealthier Western countries bear a high environmental cost in order to support economic development. How Costa Rica forged a low ecological footprint is an interesting story. According to the HPI 2016 briefing paper, 99% of electricity used in Costa Rica comes from renewable sources. In 1949, the country abolished its army and redirected the funds to other sectors of its economy. Although the country is nowhere near attaining social equality, the government stands committed to protecting the environment. Costa Rica has committed to becoming carbon neutral by 2021. The ecological footprint rating of Costa Rica is only 2.8, compared to a whopping 8.2 of the United States. The ecological footprint of USA is the fourth largest of all 140 countries 
included in their rankings. Vanuatu has the highest HPI score outside of the Americas. Vietnam ranks 5th, Bangladesh 8th. Though both Vanuatu and Bangladesh have high HPI rating, they are both challenged in terms of life expectancy. Vietnam also faces the challenge of maintaining a low ecological footprint given its rapid economic growth. What does a happy planet look like? I've spoken about what happy planet index measures and how countries look on the happy planet index map. Let's have a look at what a happy planet looks like. The International Resource Panel is a group of eminent scientists specializing in resource management issues. The group was established by the United Nations Environment in 2007. According to a report from the panel, efficiency in the way resources are used, recycled and disposed of is essential for sustainable life on our planet. Research by the panel has recommended a set of strategic actions. It's these actions that will pave the way for a happy planet. This Sankey diagram depicts these actions. Reduce the use of natural resources globally by 26% by 2050. Keep per capita resource use at current levels in high income countries. Increase water and energy efficiency by 60 to 80% in construction, agriculture, transport, and other key sectors. Reduce greenhouse gas emissions by an additional 15 to 20% by 2050. Limit climate change to 2 degrees Celsius or lower. Move from linear to circular material flows. This can be achieved by reusing, recycling, and designing products differently. Apart from these recommendations, the United Nations has 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Sustainable Development Goals include Ending poverty, improving health and education, reducing inequality, tackling climate change, and preserving our oceans and forests. Happy Planet Index provides some interesting insights into achieving well-being without disrupting the environment. According to the HPI 2016 briefing paper, the Happy Planet Index measures how efficiently residents of different countries are using environmental resources to lead long, happy lives. Happy Planet Index is founded on the notion that economic progress alone is not sufficient to achieve sustained well-being of people. Sustained well-being is rather a function of people's subjective well-being and the cost to the environment. Happy Planet Index is also a reminder that well-being is attainable without damaging the environment. It is an opportunity for policymakers to shift focus from mere economic progress to greater social equality and a lower environmental footprint. Thank you.